Five Sox getting the chant of Dino, always bringing the home crowd against Jerry Robinson's 5-0, the black trunks, back in gold trunks. Comes in an undefeated uh, Jared Robinson from Sumter, South Carolina. Trains out of Dime Boxing in Charlotte, owned by James Presley, the owner and coach. A versatile boxer is Jared Robinson, calling the quiet storm. Dino Demanchik, of course, Lawrenceville, Georgia. 21-year-old, showing great promise. 4-1, and one, getting better and better. Training out of Delgado Boxing Gym gets in the ring with Paul the Truth Delgado. What do you see early on here, Michael? Well, I see both guys right now filling themselves out. Uh, normally, uh, last time I watched Dino fight is that he came out uh, as a bull and moving his head a lot and uh, basically moving behind the jab. But I, I see that he's taking this guy pretty cautious and uh, just did, right now they're both filling each other out. They, they, they're kind of attacking each other a little bit, but still, they have a little chess match going on. You hear the, the crowd chanting Dino always bringing a big crowd here. Dino making his home here after uh, being born in Croatia. Dino making Atlanta, Georgia his home, more specifically Lawrenceville. He's trimmed, trims more and more. He spars with Paul the Truth Delgado, so he gets great work in the gym at Delgado Boxing Gym. Only 21 years old. Standing a 5'5", always seemingly the shorter fighter. And it is also the case here against unbeaten Jared Robinson. Robinson, very down-to-earth guy, very versatile, adapts to different situations. And Dino Demanchik, not the, not the easiest of guys to go up against because of his bull type of approach, but not as aggressive. I think you mentioned this already, Michael. Not, he's aggressive here, but overall, oh, he takes a shot from Robinson coming in. You know, what, what has to happen, the, the, key, the keys to Dino's victory is move bobbing and weaving, moving his head, getting to the inside, throwing bunches and punches. And uh, the key also to Jared is to keep him at a distance and stick him out there with a jab without being confrontational. Oh, Robinson's overhand right connected both with clean exchanges, but Robinson has looked good here in this first round. First of four in his light welterweight bout. Robinson in the black and gold. Demonchik in the black and blue trunks. Demonchik, we've seen him be very aggressive in the past bouts here in Atlanta, but not quite as much here today. And I think Robinson got his attention early. And that's the bell. Who'd you give that, that round to? I have to go with Robinson on that. He was much more of the aggressor uh, for that round. And where um, um, Dino was more like a, uh, trying to fill the guy out, wasn't really committing to his punches. It was kind of fading in and out with, the, uh, with his um, lateral movements. So, Michael, while we have a second, as we look at the lovely Takate ring girls showing us it's about to get into round number two. Tell us what's going on in, uh, in your career. Uh, when are we going to see you back in the ring? I know you're working towards trying to get a, a heavyweight title. You're changing uh, groups. And, uh, and tell us, bring us up to date on what's going on with you. Well, actually, um, I'm back in the gym right now, and uh, we're training um, 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 for three days a week right now, getting everything back in order. Uh, this, um, the plan right now is to have a, take a fight with Chris Ariola. Um, right now, that's the fight out there to be made. Chris, basically for him to step up to the next plate, if he want to fight with one of the Chris goals, or if I want to fight one of the Chris goals to make my mark. So a fight with Ariola is the key fight um, for this year. That's Michael Grant, terrific heavyweight. Trying to get in that mix and very, very close to getting a world championship bout. Demonchek, who is defensive as I can remember seeing him. He is well aware, I think, of undefeated Jared Robinson's abilities. Robinson has shown us he can punch from in close. He likes his distance, though. Oh, and he eats a left, and Demonchek now on the attack, but Robinson punched it out, and Robinson hands down. I ain't still feeling confident. 
Do you do you like the body language of Jared Robinson? I mean, he looks confident in that. Absolutely. I like, basically, I like the body language from both fighters right now. They both really want this, and uh, they know they have four rounds to, to make that accomplishment, and uh, they're bringing it all out. When you have four rounds, it's, it's hard to really have a long-term game plan. You can't just work the body for a couple rounds and try to wear a guy down. I mean, you gotta get it. You gotta get to work right away. You gotta go for it from the gate, right out of the gate. Oh, and I thought we had a break, but I guess not from referee Jim Corb. A little confusion there, but no harm done. Getting the Monchik in the black trunks of the blue trim, and. Jared Robinson in the black trunks with a gold trim up against the ropes now. Demonchik connecting, but back comes Robinson again. Punching his way out. Doesn't look like there was serious damage done. Is Demonchik doing better in the second round, Michael? Absolutely, absolutely. I think that uh, what will make us a, a, a surprising punch right now for, for Dino is that overhand right after that jab from uh, Jared. Well, Robinson's been committed to that job, though, hasn't he? Absolutely. Goes to the body, upstairs, changing levels, nice. And now he tried to go one, one-handed. I'm not sure why he did that. He's probably just feeling really good to Robinson. Robinson got out of the way as Demacek let go of a combo. Corner wants more combinations. And Demacek answers... Robinson's combos are one of his own. I think Dino has to be a little bit more careful standing on the outside there because the, the taller guy has the advantage. And, 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 I'm sorry, go ahead, Mike. Yeah, and, and the taller guy has that advantage, and Dino's just basically standing out there, not moving his head enough. To, uh, to create, uh, he's basically creating a target right now. Michael, almost as soon as you said that, uh, Robinson stuck a jab while Demonchek was coming in, and he was short on it because the reach kept him at, at bay, at distance. And Robinson has been successful in keeping that distance on Demonchek. Oh, and Lance, just a quick jab there at the belt. Who would you give that second round to? Wow, we're looking like a 2-0 shutout right now with Robinson uh, ahead. Uh, I think right now he's basically grabbing confidence with that jab. And if Dino stays out, out stays in the outer reach, uh, basically being out from Jarrett, he will take this fight over just by the jab alone. Jared Robinson, a quiet storm from Sumter, North Carolina, South Carolina, training out of Don Boxing in Charlotte. 5-0 in his career, three of those wins via the knockout, the 23-year-old called the quiet storm. While Dino Demanchek, 4-1 in his career, does not have a knockout to his credit. Born in Croatia, now training and living in Lawrenceville, Georgia, the 21-year-old. Both very young fighters with good promise to their careers. And uh, I think I agree with you, Mike. I think I would give Robinson the edge in the, in the first two rounds. So when you only have two more rounds to go, Dino Demanchik with a terrific corner of Nathan Livermento, Jesse Becerra uh, out of Delgado Boxing Gym. We gotta get to work here. Yes. This is a good, solid fight for both athletes here. Uh, for them to take the next step up. You know, they, they both can learn from this and grow from this. Robinson, again, continues to stick the jab. And that was blocked a little bit by Demacek. Anytime there's an exchange and Demacek is wailing away aggressively, the crowd responds. A nice, quick jab as Demacek came down and he stuck that straight left and popped Demacek's head back. See, right there, Dino was standing too far to the outside. The jab would take him apart all day long. He needed to move that head to get on the inside right now. He had four rounds to do this, and, 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 and if you don't take advantage of that, that's where he needs to be right there, moving ahead and throwing punches and punches. And Robinson, boy, he's a, when he's up against the ropes, he, he didn't just take it. I mean, he's trying to punch his way out and, and, and make it chaos to get out of there. Demonchik, uh, take a look at his eyes, see if they've uh, had any swelling, and take a look at that. And Demonchik, I think, had a hold of Robinson's gloves just a little bit. And a little wilder punches from Robinson here in this round. It, it, you, you mentioned the movement from Demonchik. He needs to, he needs to get out of the way and uh, dodge a punch and then get inside. Does he need to, oh, Demonchik ate a right and then a left from Robinson. 
Those might have been the two cleanest punches of the fight. That shows me how tough Dino is. You know, he caught two unexpected shots, a right and a left, and he's still on his feet. And he was doing it in exchange. And so does he need to, does Dino, you, see, you mentioned he stay on the outside, he said dodge his punches. Does he need to move laterally? Does he need to duck, it, duck his head and come under? How, how would you defend Robinson right now? Oh, he ate a left stiff jab coming in. Yeah, that, 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 that kind of shook up the game plan right there. Yeah, he needs to move his head. Dino needs to move his head and stay on the inside. And stay on the inside. This guy, Jarrett, Jarrett right now, best punches is coming from the outside right now. All the hardest shots, they all come from the outside. As we can see right now, he's going to the body. He's going to the head with the jab. Yeah, he's picking Dino apart. If Dino would just move his head and get on the inside, a different fight. Yeah, and keeping, keeping that range and connecting from the outside. Been very effective for Robinson. Again, Dino tried to come in, but Robinson met him with a stiff left right down the chute. And again, that jab sticking, gloves down for Dino. Defense not there right now for Demonchik. No, it's not right there. It's not there now. It's not there now. Oh, and then a left to the body, and another left connects, and Robinson aggressive at the end of the round. Wow. Tough fight. Tough fight for Dino. Tough fight. Tough fight. Good fight for both fighters, though. One to go on, definitely. What a third round for Jared Robinson. He'd give him that round, I assume, right? Yeah, yeah. I have to, I have to go with Jared on that. He was much more aggressive in that fight again. I mean, Dino was making a fight out of it, but he's not been uh, um, successful in this trial. And, and as you alluded to earlier, the toughness that Dino shows, I mean, to eat shots like he has, still standing in there and willing to, to, to exchange. That's yeah. for our Michael Grant, terrific heavyweight ringside for this seventh bout of the night. We got two more on the way. We got the female stepping in. Between the ropes next, Nicole Woods and Elisa Moreno in a light welterweight four-round bout. That's next. And then our main event tonight here in the Georgia Boxing Championships at Buckhead Theater, Paul the Truth Delgado and Luis Galarza. Round number three. They are, I, 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 round number four. Yeah, I think it's the same at this point. Dino needs a knockout. Now, as you have it, Michael... And I would, too. Three rounds to none for Jared Robinson, the undefeated Sumter, South Carolina native. Oh, that left stuck in the jab. Mm. Two straight rights. And Demonchik pawing at his eyes as well. And, and now if he's going to have trouble seeing, that's really bad news for Dino. Uh, Jared picked up a bad header right now. He has, he has completely dropped his left hand. He's, I mean, he has success. It's the confidence right now taking over. But a right hand, a right hand will bring that hand back up. A right hand from Dino will bring that hand back up. Well, he's better hope as he ate a left jab from Dino there. That it's not a perfect shot that puts him down. Oh, and back again, up against the ropes. Backing up and eating a shot from Robinson was Dino Domacic. The crowd has not been able to get into this like they normally would. They're trying now with that Dino chant, but as you mentioned, Michael, it looks like it's got to be a knockout or nothing, and unless Robinson is really careless here in the last half of this fourth round, uh, this looks like it's Jared Robinson's fight. Again, hands down for Jared Robinson. Tried the uppercut there. Corner wanting Robinson to let his hands go. Hands are down, though, as you alluded to, Michael. Feeling good. Yeah, Jerry is feeling good right now. He's living off, he's living off body shots right now. He's going up top. He's going down low. He's definitely taking control of this fight right now. Wow. Working those levels. Being body upstairs. Right now, Dino is, being, is getting beat right now. Okay. Demacha connected on Robinson. Yeah. I tell you one thing, you can't you don't have to question Dino's heart. Dino has a heart of a lion. Mouthpiece is out, but Dino is stunned on his feet up against the ropes. And they tie up. Wow, Brian's, excuse me, Jim Corb 
going to call time to get the mouthpiece in, and that's actually a break for Demontre, don't you think? Absolutely. That, that came across an exchange they both were delivered. Well, and, and they exchanged in... And actually, the mouthpiece was down while they continued to exchange, and got to get a break in the action before he let the mouthpiece back in. Oh, Dino. Oh, leaning forward. And Robinson trying to finish this fight. Fourth round. Overhand right connects. Robinson creates that distance and back on the attack. Dino still showing the heart that Atlanta appreciates. Final second. Oh, Dino stunned. Another right. Left, right. Dino stays on his feet. And down he goes right at the bell. Are they going to call it a knockdown? Yes, they're going to. They're going to give him uh, the count here. Oh, uh, there's no being saved by the bell here. So, yes, they gave him the count. They counted the knockdown at the bell. Okay, well, they're not just for official purposes, I guess that will add another point or take one away, I guess, for uh, for Demonchek. Will they knock down in the final second of this bout? Saved by the bell, but... Wow, what a performance by Jared Robinson. Very good, very good performance by Jared, very good. Now, I think your critique, Michael, was right on in that, hey, you got to learn from this. You you, you beat him, but you can't let let up in the fourth round. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Dino has to go back to the drawing board, and uh, they need to work on moving his head and getting on the inside, throwing punches and punches. That's his key. Did... Did he try and then Jared just didn't let him, or do you, do you think he didn't do it from the get-go? I think they didn't get enough repetition in the gym because uh, I think that the method to Dino's style, he's a short fighter. Um, he's an inside fighter, just, just that point alone, because he's short. So his whole game plan is inside. And they didn't work on enough repetition to basically incorporate that into that tonight's activity. Well, it's a great corner for Dino Demonchek, the fan favorite here in Atlanta with Nathan Livramento and Jesse Becerra training out of Delgado Boxing Gym. Uh, this is going to go Jared Robinson's way. And for the win, we'll move to 6-0, and Dino Demonchek will suffer his first loss in a while and will drop to 4-2 and once it's officially announced. And we will get that here in just a moment. And we will talk to Jared Robinson right after the official announcement as well. So, Michael, what's next? Uh, Chris Ariel, is that, is that official? Does that look like it's going to happen? What's next? Um, it's not written in stone right now, but uh, we actually the negotiations are up right now, and we're just trying to make the the, uh, the right decisions here. I mean, that's the fight that I want. We're hoping that that's the fight that they will accept, and uh, we can move forward. Hopefully, HBO will uh, uh, take place then as well. And um, and that'll be it, man. I mean, it basically, uh, that, that fight for my for, for my life, my career. That'll be the fight, Michael. Always a pleasure. Thanks so much for coming back by. Thank you, buddy. All right, that's Michael Grant. Official decision.